Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. <laughs> I'm not sorry to be back here. Mm. Sup, well, Miss Island? Oracle. <laughs> We're so bored. I'll explain it again. You will be going to explore the ninth floor for traces of Charlotte Wilshire. I, the ninth floor is infamous for its advanced civilization that turned their floor into a garbage dump. Advanced civilization! Garbage dump. Okay. Oh, hello, Charlotte. Error. Bennett, report back immediately. A lot from the detection devices are going crazy. Bennett reporting back. We found her. But she's huge. That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. What do you mean huge? Oh, no. Huh? He isn't here. Oh, Miss Hyder. Bennett, what are you doing here? Henry Soldiers. Where's Felix? And... Who's in the body bag? Well, don't tell me, Miss Eiler. Like I said, I'm under Henry's orders. Do you understand? Q84. Charlotte Unit Q84. How are you feeling? I feel like crap. Also, what? Welcome back. It's been a while. I get up in an instant. What the hell, Charles? Why the hell am I alive again? I don't really understand it myself. But your soul data didn't get deleted. It might have something to do with your wish. But it was still you who brought me back, wasn't it? Before I noticed the change in my voice pitch, something isn't right. Oh, God. Whose vessel is this, is this now? Please don't tell me it's Vincent's. It's not. It's a defective Charlotte vessel. Fish! Can't you just let me rest already? Yeah, please. Why do you keep doing things like this? Please, try to calm down. Calm down? Calm down? I want to die! God, I want to die! Okay, Twitch, stop! This is not, this is not the right, this is not my personal thing. This is just, uh, as you can see, part of the game. So, yeah, sad. Mm. I don't want any more of this. I hate this place, I hate everyone, I hate you the most. I don't want any more stories. I don't want to deal with any more world conspiracies. I don't want to be in this body for fish sake. Please, and me. It's Wilshire. A body is but a mere vessel. Don't give me that crap. Well, you're right. But I still blame you for everything. I mean, you can. You, you, I, I, actually, you are, because actually. Mm, I understand. I'll put you to rest as soon as this is over. Oh, thank God. However, for now. Please, I need you to come with me. What? Why? Where? You'll understand as soon as we get there. Can't you deal with this on your own? Whatever it is. I... I can't. I already did what I could. Ah, so you brought me back because you wanted my emotional support, eh? Believe me, my cops would, would have offered you a better therapy session than I ever will. I can imagine what you imply with that and no! I'm not into that one. And I never will. Is it that bad? Might as well be. I really are a loser god. Too human to be one. <laughs> I suppose I really am. Do I count this as two? Because I, I'm basically a normal human. With well, godlike powers. And don't act like a god. Where are we anyway? We're on the 11th floor. 
The room we need to visit is just a few steps away. Great, I was considering refusing to move and making you drag there with your noodle arms. I'm perfectly capable of carrying you, Miss Wilfshire. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about what? Okay, what did Charlotte say? Editing me! Can you can you show us? Thanks. Oh well, I left him alone for a while and came back to a corpse. He ended himself? Yeah, that's what they always do. Even though I went through their trouble of implementing a non no self harm room. Talk about wasted effort. Let's bury him later, okay? Mm-hmm. This is the place. For God's sake, stop hiding the tension, will ya? Young Sandy is contagious. It's just your dad's room, right? So open it already. Alright. Here goes. A deep breath and... We're inside father's room. It's quite empty. No furniture, no personal possessions. Nothing. In the center of the room, there's... A working TV set. Huh? Just a big huh? I can't see anything. What was that sound? Yes, indeed. What was this fish? Is there someone in here? It's just me and you. And the puppeteer, of course. Well, Shire. Bingo! Hi there. We knighting at your service. That sound again. Took you long enough. Been having fun going on adventures with friends. They're not my friends. Yeah, sure. Because Scarlet Isle doesn't do friends. Because Scarlet Isle is so very serious. <coughs> Stop make mocking me and come out of hiding already. My, my. You're so eager. You know? Why you've been running around, I learned the truth of this world. Want to know what those are, class rep? Stop messing with me. Where are you? You're no fun. But how would I tell you anyway? Bam! Lights on. What in the world is this? Same. <laughs> Why? It's mother. Our beloved, beloved mommy. The one and only true God controlling everything in the house. The one who gave birth to you. Oh, try you. No. No. Mother is kind, beautiful, and understanding. This thing isn't even a human. Oh, don't you know? Raiders aren't human. All the content, content comes out of their rare hole. I mean, technically, you're talking. You, so basically, mother is a content creator. <laughs> I hate that this makes sense because the content and the creator. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. ECS poop? This is ridiculous. Where are you getting with this? Ah, Miss Isler, you're so impatient. The grand groundbreaking truth of the house is there. No one here needs to be saved. This world is an entertainment arena. Mother generates scenarios and provides a constant supply of protagonists. When one dies, all she has to do is spawn more charlots to amuse the spectators. H21 is defective. <laughs> I 
You think you'll be saving someone? But they really are. But actors on this tiny stage. Everyone gets assigned a role to play. And you're no different. Yeah, right. As if I believe you. This is nonsense. Come here. You'll get what's coming to you for every person you've hurt. Oh, yes. We'll both bleed for entertainment. And everyone shall be watching. Want to be the hero? Sure, I can arrange that for you. Mother will bestow you with just the right personality to meet the genre requirements. Hey, stop babbling nonsense. I won't fall for your prov provocation. Also, I just noticed those are literally really solid there in this red. I don't know. Also, another thing that I just also noticed some of this art style is of the. Well, let's say of the flesh parts. Like a little bit like a Magica Madoka. Yeah. I still don't like that anime though. Right, right. Look, I'm coming for you. Feel my blood boil as she approaches me. Uh, something isn't right. Why do you feel so angry? We were supposed to talk. Yet, why am I? I wanted to know the reason behind her tears. I wanted to gouge out her eyeballs with a butter knife. Why only a butter knife? I wanted to understand her. I wanted to tear out her spine and hang it from the ceiling. Oh. Ah! I leap forward and tackle her down. Why isn't she resisting? That's right. Do it. Shut up. Come on. What are you waiting for? Why? Why aren't you resisting? At this rate, I'm ready, really going to kill you. Do it, Scarlet Island. Do it already. And always, always remember, there's not just one person behind the screen. I'm sorry. It's thousands. What do you mean? Let me uh, enlighten you. In the world behind the screen, billions exist. That's what the puppeteers are. It's a game for them. Excuse me. Excuse me. They don't care about who you are. I mean, kind of. All they care about are appearances. And whether you're good or evil. And a good story. Bonus points for Paul. Charlotte, what the fish? Shut your indecent mouth. That it. It's the truth. No, you're a monster, a demon. That I know for sure. Oh, please. I'm just another puppet. One of many. The sullen Charlotte, the sweet Charlotte, the bully Charlotte. Choose the flavor you like for a perfect shipping scenario. Excuse me? Excuse, excuse me? Like... No? Abuse to create an emotional response from the audience. Did you know? Entertainment is dead. It's just one big circle jerk between consumers and producers. I mean... Yeah, it's also the reason why, for example, animators in the anime industry are also paid not that much. Or are just. Or translators. Official translators. Yeah. The audience wants it raw. I don't want to make a joke there. Or you're so into it, more pain, more suffering. Perform, perform until you break. Become relatable to 
to the max. Hey, Adam. We're not so different, aren't we? Except you aren't the protagonist. But that can be overlooked, right? Don't lump me together with the likes of you. Had things turned out differently, we could have been friends, you know? No way in hell. I'll tie my grip on her throat. She's not resisting. Like I said, soon you'll understand. I'll be the one crying. I want to be loved. I'm trying so hard, but the world is just so unfair. And mother's voice in your head won't stop ringing until you lose your sense of self. Shut up! I've been killed over and over and humiliated for entertainment. But here, but I have to be a good girl. Because in order to be loved, I'm not allowed to make mistakes. My head hurts. Why does this particular phrase hurt so, hurt so much? I'm not supposed to care. Yet my chest tightens. As if from a premonition. When I open my eyes again. Carl Wilshire, Wilshire has long since stopped moving. Oh. No way. So easily? She really is dead. Yes, you're right, you monster. <laughs> what the hell? This doesn't feel right at all. It's as if I've awakened from a long sleep. Something isn't right. <laughs> well, here you are. Lamentating your mortal enemy. But it's too late. You winched your dead classmates. Aren't you happy? <laughs> I just wanted to understand her. <laughs> sure, but she's dead now. I, it's okay. I can still make everything right. I can do it. <laughs> do what? I'll, I'll take her place. And find out the truth. Oracle, I have a wish to make. That is the only logical conclusion. This is what everything was leading up to. I used the Oracle's power to transfer my consciousness into one of these vessels. If it really is as she said. If there really are thousands of eyes watching me, my every step. Oh no, I'm terrified. No, I mustn't falter. I can do it. I'll make it a better timeline. I will not become a murderer like her. I will prove her wrong. I will prove that free will exists. Even if I break and, and my mind shatters. This is the only way to find out the truth. Even if I forget what I was looking for. This is the only way I can atone for what I've done. Hello Scarlet. No one will notice a thing. Then it occurs to me that maybe this was Wolfshire's plan all along. That maybe it was her wish for me to step into her shoes. That maybe I was fated to become her from the very start. That is how her story ends. <laughs> well, well, well. What Charlotte should we choose? <laughs> It's like doing grocery shopping. <coughs> Let's see. Haha. This vessel will do. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I know it ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. My, the gods they believed in have died and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order. It finally became quiet. All I can do is stream, for I'm so, so tired. Will you be as kind as to join me in dream seeing? It's 
fishing cues me? It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. Okay, we're back at the beginning in episode one. As for what will happen next, you already know all of it, don't you? Oh, hi, Felix. Uh, hi. Hi. Yeah. We all played already the, 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 the first two games. This is still the first game, though. Yes, I would like to. But I used the first file, okay? Charlotte Isla became Charlotte Wilshire. She used to be cold and calculating, but ended up becoming upset man and clueless as her mind crumbled under the influence of mother's voice. I carefully observed her from afar and gave her a yellow ribbon to differentiate her from the other Charlottes. I helped her when she was trapped in the TV world. I'll help you kill Wolfshire again, I told her. That phrase seemed to trigger her memories. She remembered who she really was, and it horrified her. She understood that she was failed. She failed to prove V19 wrong, which in turn made her, her end her own life. Well, Scarlet Isla's story should have ended after she wished to save the Oracle. It should have ended. But the Oracle intervened. They created a channel. It became a world made of Scarlet Isla's soul data. You're familiar with the concept by now, aren't you? Scarlet Isla couldn't believe that the tenants were real imaginary they became. She was obsessed with the trial, so it manifested in her world. My dream, I in the world, huh? How stupid. Why did you go there anyway? I wanted to see for myself what her inner world is like. You ended up getting humili humiliated, beaten up and almost forced fished by the inhabitants. Congrats. Not only that, you took cosplay to a new level once again by using Vincent's vessel. Ahem. Still, my journey was rather fruitful. I was afraid of facing her for so long. But when we finally met again, she didn't have the memories of the past anymore. Even though I tried to trigger them so many times, she had no recollection of the past events. She didn't even recognize the excerpt from one of my stories that she used to criticize. She was kind, lost, clumsy, easy fooled, delusional. I can hurt her this time around, I thought, but when I fell, she helped me get back to my feet. Scarlet Isla would have kicked me until I lost consciousness. When I got hurt, she tended to my wounds. Scarlet Isla would have hurt me even more. When I cried, she tried to reach out to wipe away my tears. Scarlet Isla would have shouted at me. Changed. But I couldn't hurt her, nor could I help her. Ironically, she couldn't pass the trial herself. Okay, I think I get it. But that's one thing I don't really understand. If you were using Vincent's vessel the whole time, then who was the other you? That's... Hello there. Why the surprised faces? Isn't it obvious who I am? I'm Seth, the father of this dysfunctional family. It's impossible. There's only mother in the house. Oh, really? How long do you plan on rejecting my existence? Miss Wolfshire, be careful. If this person is the cognitive version of my father, then he's even more powerful than mother is. Oh no. Easy, easy. I'm not here because of you. 
Right, because you never cared about me. I have a deal with the puppeteer. Oh, what? To save the child. To save Scarlet Iron. Now known as Charlotte Wolfshire. As you can see, this TV box is, in fact, Scarlet Isla's Soul Cube. All because Charlotte Unit uh, 091, also known as the Oracle, wanted to preserve her soul data no matter what. The child saved her, and 091 tried to save her in return. Truly, the romance of the century, isn't it? However, as a result, Scarlet Isla's soul now resides in this Shay B TV set. To free her wong her would mean to break this box she's trapped in. That's what it means to save her. You, you bastard, was killing her in mother's womb not enough? She was an unwanted child, is all. She is a common practice. You should know better than to make a big deal out of it. It was a big deal for mother. That's all that matters. The Swiftshire, we have to help her. Got an interview, Charles? Isn't that the same Scarlet Eye who drove you to end your own life? Not the same. She sacrificed herself for me. Duh, because she has a goddamn mercury complex. I don't know that word, and I don't even want to look it up right now. I forgive her, Miss Wilshire. Hey, imposter. No. What is it with no, huh? Huh? You wanna fight, bitch? Can we transfer her soul data to a new vessel? Unfortunately, no human vessel can contain her at this point. Then what could we... Whatever, I don't care about her. If you hadn't noticed, I'm not in the Scarlet Isle Fine Club. Don't like their show? Just switch the channel for all I care. I'm not sure if that would be the right choice. We don't know what the other channel will be like. And it's not like the current channel will disappear either. Wouldn't switching the channel be just an attempt to make us feel better? Uh, so what? Who cares? <coughs> you seem to be struggling with the final decision. Why don't we have the puppeteer decide? Say, will you save the child? Break on with the TV. Or switch the channel. Which means... Eh. Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, I don't want to see. 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 I see. I hope I chose the right one. You chose to be selfish. In the end, all you cared about was your own peace of mind. Right? In all honesty, I'm disappointed in you. Because you turned out worse than I hoped you would. Well then, I'm afraid our ways will part here. Until you reawaken your choice and reload the game to this. Well, I'm in the room. Yes, on the count of three. All right. We'll press the button. Um, what is she doing? Are you blind? She's eating chips, Charles. All the time? Most of the channels in the house show commercials only. This is this one might be not so different. Though it's a channel where she doesn't even have a story. Hey, her story might be about eating chocolate food. Stop it, Miss Wilshire. It's not funny. You think? I find it hilarious. Just look at her. Can't fake that smile. She seems happy. This soul, even. Yeah. Looking at her bringing her the food with no one, no care in the world. I feel the 
spill rice in my throat. Wow. I didn't expect anything yet. Why is it so frustrating? This can't even count as a happy ending. A fit of sun rain. I switched the channel. Again. And again. And again. Just catches my hand. Miss Hilfscher, stop it! God damn it! Why can't we do anything? I'm sick and tired of feeling powerless. Why is your world like this? And don't you sorry me. I know, I know, okay? We're both frustrated. But there's still really nothing we can do. Not all problems can be solved. Not all things can be fixed. It's something that we have to, to, to live with, no matter how much it frustrates us. I never asked to be born. It's always... It's always should have been her. Yet father chose me. Him and mother were always apart at the time, yet he still chose to let me live. So I lived constantly trying to make up for everything mother has lost. For every breakdown she had. For every time we called the ambulance. For every time she cried. Does thing else matter? And now, look at this world. Re repetitive, meaningless, futile. It's almost laughable how unoriginal my, my stories are. None of you deserve this. And I can't even die here. Trust me, I've tried. Charles? Let's leave this room. Are you sure we... I'm sure. We'll leave this place and return to the first floor. I will build what we write society and have it do something worthwhile for a change. If I can't be contained in one vessel, we can use thousands, right? You want to make pythons, pythons out of them? I guess, whatever. This would be a hell of a selfish act, though. No, no, in all honesty, I don't think Miss Wolfshire would be happy if we save her. That's true, like I said. No matter what we do, there will be no right answers. The house is essentially self destructive. Still, it's better than watching you rot away in self pity, you loser god. What if former Scarlet, now Charlotte, doesn't want to get out of her little fantasy box? I'm bringing her here and watching the house burn as we eat a monthly supply of Charlie's junk foods in one sitting. Period. Wait a minute. Didn't you want me to put you to rest? I changed my mind for now. Don't make a big deal out of this. I... Father. I get it, so... Please. And so we leave the room. Inside the room, there is a box. Inside the box, there is a channel. Inside the channel, there's a world. Inside the world, there's a girl. A girl who's the world itself. Hello, world. How are you? Oh my god, that was so alright. But the free music, yeah, about that. Also, is it all the... Even the third? All games? Is it all games? Oh, 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 oh you too. You too with this. Ha. Of a ha. So. Which ending did I get extra with this? Dear friends. Today we have gathered for a very special occasion. Today is the day we ascend. Right, Mr. C? Precisely, Miss Wolfshire. Today... Who shall make history? Please put on the helmets in front of you. At least, at last, we shall become pure white. But, what are those helmets? What are those helmets? Oh, sir. Is Wilshire? Ray? It's time for us to go. Where to? Stargazing, of course. 
Dark Eyes needs a life way. Just like everything Umbrella Man said. No, everything's for real this time. Promise? Promise. Come now, take my hand. Let's leave this story together. Lead the way. That fish? That fish is happening. Okay. A lot of fright. Mm -hmm. Not turtles and... Hmm. Ah, uh, Jotos and, uh... Ah! Because, um... We just... I want to know, so this is the channel 10 is the switch channel. So. Yep, 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 Save her. So you chose to save her after all. Like I said before, I prepared everything for this journey. The weapon included. Right. Joss, stand back. I'll do it. Mr. So sure you don't have to. I said I'll do it. What kind of creation am I if I can't carry your burdens? Joss quietly steps back, giving me the hammer. Just wait outside. Just to be clear, that wasn't a suggestion. All right, I'll come back soon. Yeah, right. You so, so will. Now shoot. Now shoot. Shoot. I breathe in and out. So here we are. I'm going to murder the girl who was my face with my own hands. I look at the TV screen. Girl with a yellow ribbon and white eyes stares back at me as she knows I'm here. Know what, Scarlet Isler? But I uh, hate to admit it. In the end, Charles here. He wanted you to be born. That's why you became your own person in the house. That's why all the attendants were nice to you. That's why nobody hurt you in this place. You're not an unwanted child. He wanted you to exist. And I want to, want to crush all his regrets. After all, doesn't fiction exist to free the mind? That's why I will crush you too. I swing the hammer. There will be no war. There will be no revolution. There is no need for it. Our existence is meaningless. But that's okay. There's no need for a meaning. We will not fight a god. There's no need to. It won't change anything. No matter how wretched we are. No matter how broken we are. No matter how lost we are. We will hold our heads high and march on. Our stories will continue. Welcome to the house. In the heart of the house, there's a bottomless pit. A pit where they slumber. Above the pit, there's a sun that never sets. A black sun, suckling all the lights in. Now, it really goes deep. Are you sure there's no exit on the other side of this pit? <laughs> Not even I know. No matter how many corpses I drop here, it never gets filled up. It was a good vessel, wasn't it? Aren't you supposed to keep it himself? Yeah, I really messed up. In the end, all I did was postpone the inedible. 
No matter what, there's no way I could have helped him. There's no way of fixing him either. Well, duh, you can't go around trying to fix people. There's no way of doing that anyway. I know that somewhere on a subconscious level, didn't I? That's why the house is the way it is. Where I convinced that I could change him. Or anyone. I miss Aiden. Ahem. They would have ended up being the brainwashed, unnaturally happy versions of themselves. Never once have I wished for that. However, images of people I knew still became distorted in this place. Especially Vincent's. I'm so fascinated with the idea of him that I failed to see him as a real person. That's why in the house, he's all but an empty shell. An imaginary construct. This place is no heavenly kingdom, after all. Now then. He really is gone, isn't he? Goodbye, Vincent. We lower him to the pit and let go. Then we hear a small thud. Just how many Vincents did Charles throw down there? Miss Wilshire? Yes? There's one more place I'd like to visit, if you don't mind. <sighs> I don't have anything better to do anyways. Might as well take along. By the way, what is that you're holding? Oh, this is Mr. Honecker's invention. What do you mean? You know, Miss Shy? Was it? But is it Charles? Unit V19 believed this world to be made purely for entertainment, but I don't feel like that's the case with the house. During my lifetime in the true realm, I always wanted to be liked by others. Yet somehow it never seemed to work out. No matter what I did, it was either a ghost or a bird. I get no one wants to sit with, no matter how good my grades got. Never expressing my op opinion aloud, always going along with the flow, constantly shape shifting, adapting my personality traits to match others, saying what others want to hear, just so that they would want to be around me. Wanted to connect with others. Yet pushing them away as soon as we got close. Repulsed by physical closeness, I drifted away from human contact further and further. Yet somehow though, art and writing, through art and writing, I was able to connect with others in a way that did feel repulsive. Miss Warhol, Vincent, I would have never been able to open up to them if it wasn't for my work. However, small and insignificant it was. After all, all my life I defined myself with things I could put on paper. Living here, this world subconsciously ended up relying on it. Without fiction, without an appealing protagonist, no one would bother staying in the house. That's how I must have felt. I can only hope that the puppeteers observing us will forgive this weakness of mine. Yeah? If it was you, Miss Wilshire, you surely would have made the ending spectacular, wouldn't you? But with me, the most I can do is come in terms with the loss of my loved ones. Losing Scarlet to father's decision. Losing mother to mental illness. Losing Vincent, Vincent to delusions. Losing Ari to the distance doesn't seem to be an end to my regrets, is there? Now then, back to the purpose of our visit into this room. Hello, mother. I'm here. I know. Thus approaches mother and hugs one of the appendages. You really did the best you could. You gave birth to so many wonderful children. Just like you wanted, right? You? Everything's okay? 
You can rest now. Those words he injects the contents of this the wrench he was holding into the mass of organs. Seconds later, everything around us begins to crystallize. Oh, Ice Nine. The house begins to collapse. Calls you. Don't be the last of your kind, Q84. There'll be no more stories. No more dreams. No more control. At last, we'll be free of everything. No more restrictions. No more faith. No more endings. Wonderful, isn't it? Mother will no longer... I... It does sound somehow sound familiar. Ah, it's not even the first time I've seen this breakdown. And yet. And yet. It's okay. It's okay, father. Your world made its end a long time ago. But a new one will surely begin from scratch. The humanity as you knew it has ceased to exist. Only to make room for a new generation. As long there are believers, their gods will be reborn, and churches will be built as their sanctuaries. A new day will come, and your time will start moving again. There's nothing to be sad about. Well, well, well. Looks like you've reached the end of this story. Congratulations, a pass for the winner. Oh, thank God. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? I mean, yeah. I hope you enjoy the show. After all, I've worked hard to make it worth your I'm worth your while, even though the other parts of me couldn't. I hope you will forgive me for constantly misleading you to make your journey more exciting. Ah, oh, what was that? I wonder. In any case, both Charles and Charlotte now truly live up to their names, don't they? Right, they are. Now free. However, I won't be staying in this hopeless world for long. Having seen so many times at the end of this place, having so many times, of many times, of, um, don't you? Don't you? Don't you feel the same? How about you feel the same? How about you feel the same? How about you? Don't you? Don't you feel the same? How about you feel the same? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. Um, hello. Uh, this is a bit sudden, isn't it? Especially since we haven't talked directly before. I got to spend time with all the other parts of me, but I, the core part, always ended up being a side character. Yeah, sorry, Charles. I rather have it stay that way. But you have reached the ending of this story, and there's no one else left to say the final word. So please bear with me for a moment. So, here we are. 
Everyone's gone. The house has crumbled. A fitting end for a self-destructive world. In the end, it was no place for all of us to stay. Now that there's no mother, the walls of the house can no longer confine me. However, before I leave, I want to thank you in person. I'm fairly sure this ending wasn't what you wanted or what you were very what, what were you here for? After all, in the end, I couldn't become Charlotte Wilshire or Scarlet Island or a proper Vincent Worth's word, Wordsworth. By the way, Wordsworth is a certain surname I made up. It has nothing to do with real Vincent. I mean, especially this game doesn't pack much fun gameplay. All there is is frustration. And the screaming into the void with pent up anger. A disappointing world of disappointing per of disappointing person. A game with no winners. Yet another world where your choices didn't matter. But it still stayed until the end. Though illusions and metaphors, fairy tales and delusions, we were able to have a conversation. And after letting it all out, getting it out here, I was able to let go of my regrets. Uh, just because you listened. That's why, thank you for play, paying a visit to the house. I hope you enjoyed all your stay, even a little bit. Ah, but I might not... I might be not the one you want to hear a thank you from. Let's try it again. Eh, yeah, long time no see, Seth. Yeah. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. Aww. We got off this world, made sure I would. Um... A lot of things happen, but... Yeah, a lot of things <laughs> I'm okay now, really. In fact, I'm really happy. Somehow, in the end, everything worked out. I'm at peace with myself. I hope that you are okay too. I always thought you didn't have any responsibilities other than looking after me. But I was wrong, right? If there was... If there's something that's troubling you right now, or you don't think that you can't go on anymore, Please remember that a new day will come. I'm sorry I couldn't stay with you a little longer. It's time for me to move on. That's why. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. Let's meet, meet again someday. Thank God. God it is awesome. You went. Goodbye, Charlotte. Aww. Oh, wow. Um. Did you hear a special tone avoiding social interaction? Because it seems hyper focus. You're the one, the one who cares. Special tone social item. That's. Rosala, the one with many requests, observing, cleaning. Listen, they got off. Was writing charm. Access near few and scientists. Sarcasm. Bennett. Binge watching TV show, high stamina. Bronze. And in America, high strength. Aiden, search compass, a loyal butler, taxidermy, shape shifting. Mm. Actually, as an introduction, using only a knife and a duct tape. Word vomit. For sure, Q84 and the unwilling button is acting. Massive skill snark, yes. Where's my man, Jaws, self entertainer, omnipotent, omniscient. <coughs> V19, the one who began it all. Oracle Frey 091, the god of the TV world. Charlotte will show the protagonist of Hello Charlotte. Doing her best. Determination. Did you have the word? Yes. Hello, thank you for playing Hello Charlotte. When I began to work on this project, I didn't think much of it. Just like I didn't think I had a future to begin with. Somehow, over these three years, three years of game development, things changed for the better. I was able to come in terms with myself and found a place to belong. 
still have to deal with a lot of things, but somehow they became less heavy in my mind. Somehow they don't seem as helpless anymore. The final game is a tribute to a certain someone who didn't get the chance to be born into this world. Someone I came to both love and hate. Someone I wish existed anywhere, somewhere. In the end, I know Charlotte was a personal story. In it, some events, nam namely deaths, were entirely metaphorical. Some were so very real. I can only hope that this story was able to reflect this feeling of desperation and hopelessness of a losing someone. And the despair of inability to bring them back no matter what. It's a feeling I've been living with for a long time. A feeling I constantly fear of experiment, experiencing in the future that's so it's that's to come. If you enjoyed the final episode even a little, I'm glad if you didn't, that's okay too. Bought this game and not pirated it. Thank you for your support. Your input won't go to waste. And I'm a good person. I bought it. Thank you for visiting the house. Let's meet again in the future. Sincerely, Efrain. Well, end it here. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the finale of Hello Charlotte. I sure did, didn't. I mean, to be fair, it, it, it's a really good game. The puzzles are actually challenging if you if you know what you do, but as for me, yeah. and uh, yeah, and uh, of course, I hope you also enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I don't wish any continuation of this because well, it it is it's really wholesome. It is okay. What I mean. The afterword of the developer is really wholesome. And uh, yeah, I wish them only really the best for upcoming projects, if they have any in mind. If not, let's go cool too. And uh, yeah.